Five global tech CEOs say their platforms keep children safe from online sexual exploitation. But a U.S. senator from Illinois believes those efforts are failures. 23 News reporter Anthony Ferretti talks with the Rockford sexual assault counselor about what more we can do to address this issue. Unfortunately, it is a part of our world now. Erica Engler is the executive director at Rockford Sexual Assault Counseling. We've got a lot of kids, adolescents, and even adults, you know, who have told us, you know, they've had revenge porn done on them. Engler says it's difficult for her clients to cope with the trauma that comes with sexual assault, abuse, and exploitation, and factors like social media are making the problem worse. Given that sexual exploitation is still happening on social media, probably not enough is being done to protect protect uh, kids, adolescents, and even adults. Illinois' Dick Durbin chairs the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee, who pressed five tech CEOs on this growing crisis Wednesday on Capitol Hill. Discord has been used to groom, abduct, and abuse children. Meta's Instagram helped connect and promote a network of pedophiles. Durbin says it's not just these companies. Congress must do its job too, pointing to a law passed in 1996 which freed tech companies from liability pertaining to user-generated content. Let this hearing be a call to action. We need to get kids online safety legislation to the president's desk. We always want people to know that this wasn't their fault that this happened. It was the perpetrator that made the choice to do this. Working for you in Rockford, Anthony Ferretti, 23 News. Engler says Rockford Sexual Assault Counseling sees survivors of sexual exploitation from as young as three years old.